Welcome to Math 111 College Algebra, and I'm going to give you a little guide to what you should, uh, how you should navigate this course on Moodle. So we're right here inside uh, Moodle. When you first get to Moodle, you go My Courses and College Algebra. You only be in one College Algebra, so yours will look a little different. You can look at the Getting Started Guide, and let's see. Read the Getting Started Guide, read the syllabus, we'll look at that very soon. View course calendar, and uh, you can see that on every page, except this one. Well, we'll go back to the other page, but you're going to be doing homeworks, quizzes, and exams, and you're participating in the discussion forums, and we will look at all those right now. So a good way to navigate, you could don't go click back to home, it'll take you to all your courses. Go click on Math 111 Online, it's a good way to reset. Another option, there's a navigation bar here on the left. You can go to different chapters uh, really quickly. So we got the syllabus, we're gonna check that out next. Your browser may be downloading these, and if it does, uh, you'll have to open them up separately. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, save it. And now I have it on my computer, and can open it up. This has a lot of important information on it. And you do need to read this over. That's uh, for another time, though. So we have question and answer forum, student introduction forum, and announcements forum. You'll automatically be subscribed to the announcements forum. So when I post information for the entire class, you will receive a notification or an email uh, when I post here. We have free online tutoring. Now here is all the lecture videos, so especially if you're using a phone, this is a good place to go. And when I click here, it takes you to YouTube. Now, this is not just one video, this is an entire playlist called Precalculus 1. This is every video in the entire class, right here. And this first video here tells you how to read the textbook. Second video right here, how to do examples. And then the lectures start on the third video, so I strongly recommend now that you watch both of these. So here's all written notes. This works a lot better on a desktop. It's not really good on phones. You have to do a lot of zooming and scrolling. It does take, uh, take a minute to load as you move around, but these are all the written notes that those video lectures uh, were recorded with. And you can do this if you want to copy them down. Uh, or go to a different speed than the video lectures go, but you can see all the sections in here. Here's our textbook. So again, it'll open here in the browser. I want to watch or read this later, so I will download. Uh, and then you have the file saved. And I show you how to read this textbook in that YouTube video, so that's where I uh, recommend you go after this. Here's all the course outcomes from the class. You can read that if you'd like. This is this little puzzle piece. This is an activity you have to do for a grade. Uh, this particular activity is the homework, so we're gonna check this out now. You may have to hit continue here. Don't worry about it. Security warning, it's okay. Yours, yours is gonna say start assessment. It's gonna be practice here for entering answers. So you're going to see questions here, and you're going to see your score as well. So question one I already answered. Uh, you should have the exact same question for question one. Uh, these, you just type in the answer below, then round to the nearest hundredth. So you round to two decimal places, and this one rounds up. And don't divide by zero. If you do, we get uh, a does not exist answer. You hit submit, and now if you answer the same, it'll tell you this answer has not changed. It won't let you submit again. So only if you have something new does it let you turn it in. So I've already answered that question. Question two, however, I've not answered. Easy way to see that, one of one point on question one. Question two, zero of one, zero of one, zero of one. So we're gonna go ahead, I'm only gonna answer the first one here. I can read, it says square root, SQRT, parentheses. Uh, this case three, that's not the right answer. Now I did uppercase, they wrote lowercase, we're about to find out. If it will accept it, that little green mark means it did accept it. All right, so those are 
how to do your homeworks. This is an introductory homework set. These questions are designed to uh, not be too challenging. These are things you should have done before. Uh, to do division, they tell you right here, this is what you type, and this is what it turns into. All right, here's course files. So you can also download the textbook down here. There is, I thought I updated that name. There are some answer keys here. There's a practice exam and other answer key at the beginning of the class. You are not going to see these answer keys. They will not be here. But as we do quizzes, you're going to see the answer keys show up. And let's see, this file shouldn't be there, but practice exam. Let's look at that right now. So let's show you all the types of questions that can appear on your final exam. There are some types that uh, I put on that are not right off of here, but this is probably at least 80% of your questions will be directly off of this. And uh, you can go ahead and answer these questions. It tells you exactly what section these come from. So that's also very important. So I have chapter three opened here. When you have quizzes, your quizzes will appear at the top right here. You can read the entire chapter three textbook. However, if you downloaded that file, this file right here, you don't ever need to download the other textbook sections. So here's the homework discussion. You do need to communicate in the discussion, uh, and I will post a separate video of how to do that. Every single section we do is going to be organized exactly the same. It's going to have name, due date, and the topic. You could look at the uh, section for just 3.1 in the textbook, but again, if you have the entire file, you don't need this. You have the other option to watch the videos. Some students rather read textbooks, some students rather watch the videos. I also showed you where the notes are above. You can uh, read those notes as well. So whatever combination of textbook, video, and notes works for you. Here's supplemental videos. That's another instructor's videos. So they may not have explanations that are exactly like mine, but it may help you uh, with an alternative explanation on how to solve a problem. All right, here's your homework problem. So I'm going to go ahead. This is your real homework assignment. Okay, continue again. All right, it says this assignment was due. Now, this is in the past. So when it closes, you can only do ungraded practice. So that one is not able to be done right now because I passed the due date. So it was due on 1020. So we're going to go to hopefully maybe this one will be open. Continue. All right, this one says 23 points possible due. This date is now in the future. It's a couple days from now. You can go to continue or start if it's your first time. So we'll go to this question. You should not know how to do this right now. Uh, so 6 squared is 36. I squared is negative 1. I'm just going to type all this, and this should not make sense to you right now. All right, and I got it right. You do not have to necessarily simplify your answers on these, but I don't want you worrying about assignment uh, in chapter three at this moment. All right, and more uh, chapters will open up as we progress through the quarter. Nice way to navigate calendar right here. You can click on different dates and see what's coming up. So right there, uh, so it looks like three two through three three are due. You can see your quizzes due on Monday. These are all days coming up in the near future. And you can hide different things if you want to. Also, a list about coming events. This can be useful as well. And you can look get to your other courses right here. All right, that's the end of your introduction. Oh, except if you're on a phone. So here's how I'm going to navigate on a phone. Your screen's going to be very narrow, and your you'll look like this. Click on course catalog and. It just looks a little bit different. So I click on my online course and go there. It should be kind of similar. You're going to see things are a little smushed up here, but it all works in a very similar way. And all the calendar and everything that was on the left is now at the bottom, basically. We do one more thing and hit this little menu button. Get a little bit of menu over there. And logging out is important. Just click on your profile. If you're on a public computer, you really want to log out. If you're on your own computer, you don't need to. All right, the end.